Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. My name is Putri Azatul Hanan binti Muzaisham. I'm the secretary of this eSport Foundation project. Our supervisors are Dr. Ridwan Tony Lim, Ms. Maniza Mansour, and Mr. Azhan Hassan. eSport Foundation consists of a group of 20 students from Information Technology and Information System program. We chose to organize an eSports uh, project called eSport Foundation to help people and children of Pratiwi. We find this project to be appropriate because there are gamers everywhere and many people spend their time playing games, especially during this pandemic. So why not make it beneficial to help others? In this project, our target audience are Pratiwi organization and mobile legend players. So eSport Foundation main objectives are to contribute an adequate amount of funds to Pratiwi and to have this project continued by beneficiary in the long run of their own purposes and goals. Also, we want to raise awareness uh, to the youth about poor people and children under Pratiwi uh, who are in need of food, love, protection by raising funds from eSport competition. We also want to educate committees from Pratiwi project organization on knowledge of eSports and how to evaluate them through a free workshop. Moving on, our platform uh, that we utilized were Microsoft Teams, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, Mobile Legends uh, app, Discord, Facebook. So starting from 12th of April, we gathered as many participants and audience as we can for our pre-event. The pre-event, which is our workshop, was held on 16th April. And the main event, which was a tournament, was held on 17th April uh, till 5th of May 2021. Through this project, a lot was accomplished. My contribution before the project was executed, which was also known as planning phase, was basically first I helped gather members when it was incomplete. I also helped in assist the registration to help them fill in what the form uh, they need to fill in and how to fill the questions in. And I also suggested ideas for their projects, uh, the type of projects we'll be doing and supervisors, what type of supervisors, who we should go for. Also suggest in the types of departments we should have and the job scopes. I also always actively voice my opinions, suggestions, and also advices in like every meeting. And also, I update HICOM group uh, regularly. And I also give updates to the main group for any work that's needed to be done so they don't forget and get it done. And also, attend meetings and create MOM, which is mean, a minute of meetings. And I also supervise the department, which is public relation. And I keep in touch with Datuk Munira and also some of their members. Datuk Munira is the president of Pratiwi. Lastly, contribution after the project was executed, which is during and after. So there wasn't much difference because I consistently did the same thing also. I also actively voiced my opinion regarding the, uh, like for example, we had to do post-mortem and everything. And also I had to update HICOM also, even after the project was done. I have to give reminder because we also had uh, projects uh, work that we had to do paperwork after the project was executed already. Attend meetings, we had to do some meetings also and create the MOM that we had to submit. Uh, to submit also and supervise the department continue to do the same for example right now they have to do press release whatever they need help with i just have to help them and keep in contact with HICOM. then i also i had to keep in uh, touch with dr monira and give her a token of appreciation and she really likes it and i also had to contact with tv's treasurer for a receipt and get a list of participants that came to the workshop uh, and tournament ceremony that's it thank you